Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about recursive functions. In our previous classes, we already discussed about the basics of functions and how memory is allocated to functions. These concepts will help you a lot in understanding this class. So please follow our playlist from the beginning so that you will have a better understanding of the complete Python language. Uh, the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. So let's take an example and understand what recursive function is. Uh, recursive function means uh, function calling itself. We call it as recursive functions. Let's take an example and understand. The example which we consider here is uh, function calling itself. We call it as recursive function. The example which we consider here is uh, this is the example def definition def f of x f of x is a function in that in this function we are having three lines of code if condition yes it will go into the condition and it will execute second and third line if condition fails it will come out of the if condition is there anything to execute after uh, coming out of the if condition no means function completed so this this is very important to understand after uh, this is the function definition and uh, a is equal to 5 we are calling the function here this is what our uh, example is here function in the function we are calling the same function that is what we call it as recursive functions for understanding how this recursive functions execute first we have to understand uh, in our last class uh, we discussed that uh, stack space whenever a function is called uh, the function will assign some space to save its local variables uh, that in the stack space uh, that point is very important to understand and the another point we have to understand from our last class is uh, after completion of the function the space assigned to that function will be removed from the stack space uh, these two points are very very important to understand so the program starts execute from here execution from here a is equal to 5 5 is an integer object, object is assigned in the heap space and the reference is maintained in the global variable space. So assuming that you already know all these concepts from the last class and now the function has been called, the reference of A is sent to the function. So whenever the function has been called, the variables in the function will be saved in the stack space. In the stack space, it will assign some space for the function. So x is equal to 5, usually the reference to the object 5 will be maintained here. For understanding purpose, we are directly writing the value, means x is having the value 5. But usually it is not the uh, same as the x is equal to 5. The reference of object 5 will be maintained here. For understanding recursive functions, we are uh, writing it as x is equal to 5, means x is having value 5. So whenever the first time this function has been called, this space will be assigned. So this space will be assigned. So what happens here is the function starts execution. How many lines it has to execute? If first line has to be executed, if the function condition is if the if condition is yes it will go inside and it will execute second and third line let's check the condition 5 greater than 0 yes condition is yes it has to go inside and it has to execute second line third line what's happening here in the second line it is calling the function again with a new value what's the value x minus 1 means 5 minus 1 so new function is called here means it stuck it stopped its execution at a second line in the second line it called the new function with a new value the same function with a new value means another function is called means another space has to be assigned in the stack so x is equal to 4 value this is very important to understand okay new function now this function starts execute how many lines it has to execute? It has to execute first line. If the condition is yes, it has to go inside and execute second line and third line. Okay, for understanding purpose, we have written like this, first line, second line, third line. So it is not like that. So first line, so check the condition, four greater than zero. Yes, condition is yes, it will go inside. It will start executing second line. What happening here in the second line? It will again call the new function with x minus 1 value x minus 1 means 4 minus 1 4 minus 1 means x is equal to 3 again this function is calling again 
another function x is equal to 3 now this function starts executing first line uh, 3 greater than 0 yes uh, it will go inside uh, again this function call x is equal to 2 again this function call x is equal to 1 again this function call x is equal to 0 like that it will go what happens when x is equal to 0 this is important to understand when x is equal to 0 it starts executing its probe its uh, code its body in this body we are having three lines 0 greater than 0 fail condition fails what happens it won't go inside means no need to execute second line third line is there any line to execute after coming out of this if statement function body do not have any code to execute after coming out of this if statement so the function completed there is nothing to execute here this function has been completed okay who called this function this function called this function in which line this function called this function in second line if this function is completed this space is removed if this function is completed means in this function second line completed this is the second line second line completed after completing the second line which line we have to execute we have to execute third line so what it will display print x what is the x value 1 1 will be displayed okay is there anything after completion of the third line is there anything to execute no there is nothing to execute so this function completed this space is removed who called this function this one in which line it called this function second line if this function completed means in this function second line completed in this function second line completed after completing the second line which line has to be executed third line print x means it will display 2 so the next output is 2 so after executing the third line this function completed who called this function this one in which line this function called this function in second line if this function completed means second line completed after completing the second line it will start executing the third line so that is how recursive functions execute in the third line it will display print x means value 3 will be displayed so this function completed means second line of this function completed third line display 4 this is completed who called this function this function called in which line it called in second line means the second line of this function the second line of this function completed now it will execute third line what it will display 5 so all the functions executed this is how recursive functions execute and the output of this program is 1 2 3 4 5 okay we will do complex example in our next class this is how recursive functions execute this understanding will help you a lot in writing the programs so please watch the video again and again till you get the clarity about how recursive functions execute hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you